Susie Q was, uh, was, was pretty much destroyed and the gas line was destroyed. Um, and it's obviously spewing natural gas and Morgan is, be, is having to move now because of that. Uh, power outages again are increasing. They are still going up. Uh, Benton County is up near 74,000. Uh, Carroll County is up near 19,000 customers. Madison County is near 2,200 customers. And it gets worse as it goes to the north central part of the state uh, as far as power outages are concerned. But uh, as far as in Benton County, Carroll Electric reporting 46,000 customers. And that's, a, that's just one customer, and that's like a house. So if you're in a house with four people, you take that 46,000 on average and multiply it by four, that's how many people are without power. And that's mainly gonna be out near the Decatur area. Well, it's pretty much all over uh, Benton County, but uh, Decatur hit pretty hard as well. Uh, we had uh, uh, Jose out on uh, Car uh, Carlton Drive there near Decatur. Uh, to try to help or to, to tell us if those first responders have gotten into where uh, the most damage has been reported and where people still are that can't, that folks that the responders have not gotten to yet. Um, and so we'll, we'll do that as well. All right, Zach is out as well too and looks, looks from, uh, or it looks like Zach has found more of, of what is pretty much predominant all over the county, a lot of trees down, of Zach. Trees down. Yeah, absolutely, and again, <clears throat> just in areas north of the circulation lots of tree and limb and and debris across roads and trees down but these are significant trees this is a very large tree i'm in the neighborhood that would be just to the west of of the suzy q again just off of north second street i believe this is wood way um forgive me but it's like it's wood road it's right off of second street just a uh a football field away from harps. I can't even get back into these neighborhoods. This is what I spoke about the last time I was on is that I fear these neighborhoods with these large trees right behind Suzy Q uh, are really in, a, in bad shape. I mean, that is, a, that is a very large tree. I tried to get back into a couple of these other roads back here and I couldn't even do it because power lines are down. Very scary situation, especially uh, being at night when I can't tell, you know, are you walking into something? If, you, if you're not walking directly in the light, I could easily walk into a power line. I could walk into something very dangerous. Lots of debris on the road. Uh, you asked me last time had I found uh, metal and things wrapped around poles. I drove around downtown Rogers and especially, again, around the Harps, the Susie Q area. From what I could get into, absolutely debris wrapped around street signs. Street signs knocked over, power line poles damaged. Uh, again, you've got debris wrapped around those street lights hanging, uh, significant damage to the Casey's gas station. Again, area, uh, people, people familiar with the Susie Q area here, North second street, just North of downtown Rogers will know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, again, significant damage here. And, and these neighborhoods are full of these very large old trees. And, um, thankfully this one has fallen into the street, but I, I, I believe if we were able to get back in here, you can see the root ball of another tree there. If we were able to get back in here and once the sun comes up and we are able to do that safely, I, I fear that there are going to be some trees on some homes and that's very, very dangerous. And, uh, uh again, sirens, uh, emergency personnel up and down the roads. Uh, there, there's a lot of folks that are hurting here this morning. A lot of folks need help and uh, going to need our support here. It's going to take a while to clean up. I mean, it, there's some big damage here. And this is just one spot that I'm standing in. And, and you've been talking to crews all across Benton County. This has spread so far. Uh, it's going to take the help of all of Northwest Arkansas to get uh, all of our neighbors across the county cleaned up here. You know, that's that's a good point. Uh, give us a sense as to where exactly where you are. Uh, if you're in a neighborhood, uh, as it relates to maybe downtown downtown Rogers and how 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 many you know how far away you are from, uh, for everybody knows where downtown Rogers is. But these 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 neighborhoods or the neighborhood where you are now, how how far away is it from there? I would say I got in my truck. I left Susie Q's, and I would say maybe a couple hundred yards. Okay, maybe a couple hundred yards at most. From what I could see, I mean, there's definitely some wind damage you know, with the actual downtown Rogers. Um, but it looks like the main circulation maybe just missed it to the north. And that's where uh, we're that's seeing where I see this a little bit here. Absolutely. I'm standing right in the path where I believe the tornado came right over. Uh, if, if you were able to uh, zoom out on a, on, a, on a map, 
I would be directly in line behind me would be the Suzy Q across the road would be the harps. And I would be clearly in that path where I'm seeing the heaviest of structure damage when windows blown out, awnings ripped off. Um, so I'm definitely right here in the path. And, and again, a couple hundred yards, yeah. two, 300 yards at most north of downtown Rogers. When the sun comes up, maybe there's some structure damage there too. Uh, and Scott and the other meteorologists there, they can talk about this. When you have strong tornadoes, you think about just your main cone, uh, but often these these tornadoes have uh, multiple vortices that kind of dance around. And so you could have uh, um, maybe another 100 yards from here. There could have been a little vortice that touched down briefly for 100 yards or so. And so the damage can be very sporadic, but uh, it certainly looks like it's pretty widespread this morning. Are there people walking around out there? If, if you're in a neighborhood, are, are most folks staying in their homes or can you even tell? I haven't gone on the other side of this tree, but I have seen a few people walk by. Um, there was somebody here in this house uh, and they were standing here on the porch. And uh, I think they're outside maybe surveying a little bit. It's so dark. Um, I think there's probably a lot of people still in shock uh, on North 2nd Street. It's a, it's a main road. Um, there's definitely more people kind of parked on the sides of the road, coming and going, walking around a little bit, stopping, looking at Suzy Q's, a place that they've been to maybe many times over the years. Uh, lots of memories there. Uh, but now back here in the neighborhood, it's a little quieter. And I think, too, because a lot of us can't get back here. Emergency personnel can't get back here. I can't see lights. This road's blocked by trees. I was able to get this close. The road over, just a block over, uh, there's some debris blowing there in the, uh, I don't know if you can hear that sheet metal there blowing in the distance. Wind's starting to pick up a little bit. Uh, but just a road over, I couldn't even get, uh, I couldn't even get 20 yards into the neighborhood because the power lines were down. And um, it's just, it's a real eerie feeling out here. I think there's a few folks kind of walking around a little bit, but I think maybe a lot of people are just staying indoors. If they've made it this far, uh, they're just staying indoors, waiting for the light to come out uh, so they don't, uh, they don't accidentally have any accidents, you know, out walking around. Right. All right. All right, Zach, thanks. I appreciate that. Um, we'll check back in 